I'm not bad when I was younger. I didn't know it. I don't like it all fun as myself. I am what I am and I'm just not worried about it. If you don't like it, then can walk away. <laughs> Five years ago, Connie Culp lost the beautiful face that now only remains in pictures. When I met Tom, I, I think I was 15. You know, I was 16 when I ran away with him. My relationship with Tom wasn't no different than living with my dad. He told me what to do and I did it. He teased me and called me names. Well, my dad did the same, so I just thought it was a normal way of life. Connie says after years of verbal abuse, she'd had enough and started standing up to Tom. He would push me and stuff, and people would see it, and I'd get up and I'd say, I'm a good person, I don't deserve that. And he wasn't used to me talking back. It was September 21st, 2004 when Tom walked in, walked upstairs, and shot me. In a fit of rage, Tom raised a 20-gauge shotgun, pulled the trigger, and shot Connie in the face. He then turned the gun on himself. With most of her face obliterated, Connie somehow managed to walk downstairs and find her twin sister, Bonnie. When I seen Connie shot, I, I freaked, I freaked, I ran, I ran away. And I don't, I was, I didn't know what to do. Frantically, Bonnie called Connie's daughter, Alicia. She said, you know, he shot her, he shot her. And I had immediately known that she must have met my dad, shot my mom. Uh, I wasn't really even surprised. I mean, I was, I just kind of just always knew that he, you know, he could really hurt somebody. I, I knew he had the potential, I just, didn't really think that it would be my mom. I lost my sense of smell. I lost my eye, my nose, my jaw. They had the wire shut. I didn't lose any teeth during the shooting, but the top of my mouth deteriorated, so I lost my whole top row. I just saw my face just sliding down. I was in a lot of pain. Over the next five years, Connie endured 30 surgeries as doctors attempted to reconstruct her face. But when she was still unable to breathe on her own, to smell and to eat solid foods, her medical team decided they needed to do something groundbreaking. So here's what they did. Last December, Connie Culp made history when she received the first face transplant in America at the Cleveland Clinic. It is also the most extensive face transplant ever done in the world. Please welcome Connie Cole. <laughs> 